India has condemned the sentencing of former Maldives President Mamoun Abdul Gayoom for allegedly obstructing an investigation into an alleged plot to oust the current President Abdullah Yameen. Gayoom was sentenced to 19 months in prison on Wednesday. Since the beginning of the political crisis in Maldives, India has repeatedly urged the government of the Maldives to allow all institutions, including the Supreme Court and the Parliament, to function in a free and independent manner. New Delhi had also urged to permit genuine political dialogue between all political parties. India has also asked Maldives to immediately release all political prisoners, including former President Gayoom and Chief Justice Ali Hamid, to restore the credibility of the electoral and political process. In a statement, the Indian External Affairs Ministry said, and I quote, this is therefore with deep dismay that we have learned that the former president of the Maldives as well as the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court are being sentenced to long prison terms without fair trial. This casts doubt on the commitment of the government of the Maldives to uphold the rule of law and will also call into question the credibility of the entire process of presidential elections in September this year. End quote. Earlier, we spoke to our principal diplomatic correspondent, Siddharth Sibbal. Listen in. A strong reaction coming from the Indian side over the sentence of the former president of Maldives and the chief justice of uh, Supreme Court of Maldives. Remember, the chief justice is the same uh, judge under whom the order came on 1st of February that uh, the opposition leader should be freed and uh, Nasheed, uh, the, the case against Nasheed is unconstitutional. And remember, the former president is also the uh, half-brother of the current uh, president of uh, Maldives, uh, Mr. Abdul Gayoom, and he has been accused of uh, plotting to overthrow the government. Uh, and he has been sent to 19 months in prison. And he, under him, he ruled the country from uh, 1978 to 2008. And under him, uh, Maldives and India had a very, very good uh, ties. But uh, it seems that, that the current president is out to crush uh, the the little bit uh, uh, democracy that's left in uh, the country. India, of course, is saying that it's deeply dismayed that when it learned that the former president of Maldives, as well as the chief justice, of the Supreme Court has been uh, sentenced and India also said that India believes that a democratic, stable, prosperous Maldives is in mm -hmm. the trust of all its neighbors and friends in the Indian, Indian Ocean. It also reiterated right. uh, its advice to the government of Maldives that it should restore credibility because this year uh, the country goes to elections uh, uh, and that uh, matters because we have seen opposition being slowly being wiped out in, and the daughter of uh, uh, the president, Mr. Gayoom, has also reacted. She said that my mother, my sister and I are in deep shock right. uh, and extremely saddened by today's verdict, uh, yesterday's verdict.